Terrell, we are now getting our first glimpses at what happened just before this shooting started and what happened inside that classroom as those first gunshots were fired. We just spoke with a student who was in that classroom last night when those gunshots went off. He heard that first gunshot just before he said the gunman entered his classroom. That man told us he barely remembers everything that unfolded and he never got a glimpse of the gunman himself. Around 8 o'clock last night, investigators had told us they got their very first first calls from inside a university building that there was a gunman opening fire inside of classrooms. Investigators say as they arrived at that building here on the East Lansing campus, they believe that gunman meant from one building to another. That was the student union. They believe he carried out more of a shooting inside that second building. Surveillance cameras captured him leaving that second building and captured a photo that investigators then put out to police trying to track this man down. But this is what we heard from the student who heard those very first shots fired around 8 o'clock last night. Right when that first gunshot went off, I booked it to the far corner of the class. Um, I was sitting right next to the door where he came in, literally one of the first two seats he came in. Um, and I thank God my fight or flight response kicked in because I booked it to the far side of the class and ducked down and he came in and shot three to four times in our, uh, our classroom. Well, that young man said that he kept his head down. He never got a single glimpse at the gunman, but he believes that people in his class were some of those victims who may have passed away. Ultimately, he said some of his classmates broke the window of that building. They were able to jump out of the window and get away to safety. He still does not know why he was not one of the people shot. We're going to hear more from him later on. We're also waiting to hear from investigators in just a few minutes about any details they may have garnered in this investigation overnight. But what we know right now is that 43 year old gunman they say is dead of a self inflicted gunshot wound. Three other victims are also dead. Five people they say are being treated at a nearby hospital for life threatening injuries. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.